What is up, y'all? It is Tuesday night. We're here for our Totally Tuesday Manifestation Oracle Reading for the week. I hope y'all are well. I had a fun night at work. Um, I am, as I've been talking about, doing this manifesting challenge for um, through To Be Magnetic, which is this website that I am uh, I have a membership with, and they're the ones that have all of the workshops that help you unblock your subconscious, rewrite your neural pathways, get over past trauma, heal your nervous system, and then raise your magnetism so that you are manifesting things that you want to manifest. And so in the meantime and in the process, you get a lot of like spiritual slash psychological work done. And part of the, the work is that there are these things called deep imaginings. And they are these specific meditations that are guided meditations that have, um, you know, frequencies and binaural beats and things to get you into para parasympathetic state. And then basically you are kind of self-hypnotizing your nervous system to rewrite itself, right? So you know how we're doing the conscious spiritual work here to try to, you know, break our old patterns. Well, this sort of does the back end work, right? Where it's rewriting your programming. So um, if you are interested in the work that they do, you can listen to their podcast. Um, it's by To Be Magnetic, but the podcast is called Expanded. I would listen to one of their process episodes, but they have manifest, they have like um, unblocking workshops in their website for like all the major categories of life, like um, unblocking money, unblocking love, um, if you are in an up level moment or a rock bottom, or if you are in a rut, they have unblocked uh, inner child, unblocked shadow. So there's a lot of separate workshops that you can do. And then plus like just endless resources within that uh, that membership, which I love, I'm obsessed. But anyway, I, I'm i getting into the point in a second, but if you're curious, you've heard me talking about this for a long time. They are, um, right now if you sign up for membership, they're offering like the, be the best discounts of the year. Uh, but if you happen to miss it, you can look in my description box below. There's always a link uh, that you can sign up through me. I'm an affiliate. And then you can get like 15% off on your monthly membership, which I think the full membership cost is like $30 a month. And you can pay it monthly or you can pay it in full for the year. And I think that if you agree to paying it month by month for a year or in full by a year, it's cheaper as well. But it's an amazing, amazing, amazing body of work that I really like to pair with my Kabbalah. And I think that it is, I mean, it's doing the job. Like we're, we're hitting the self growth from every, every angle and, and I'm loving it. But I'm, so I'm in the challenge and I've been in the challenge for like three weeks now and I'm on day three because it's like up to you how deep you go into like the, the journal prompts and, and all of that. You know, you can work at your own pace. And sometimes, you know, you go through one of the day's assignments and you just do it a day and that, that's it. But then some things you want to sit with for longer. And so I was on day three today and it was, um, it, the day three is de devoted to the authentic self. And so I did the authentic self DI and it's so crazy because every time I do a DI before work, I go in and I manifest some crazy shift. Well, the shift itself tonight was fair. It was fine. But what was amazing was that a party planner was there tonight who had been there a few weeks ago. And I had worked on a party that she was planning. We got to chatting while we were all setting up. And I was like, hey, if you ever need, she said she was starting to get into weddings, but she does mostly corporate. And I was like, hey, if you ever need a tarot reader for like a couple that wants to have something like interactive or whatever at their um, reception, let me know. Like that's, I'm, you know, wanting to get into more parties and even corporate events and things like that. And so she was in the restaurant tonight and I'm like walking by and she goes, hey, what's up? I'm about to hire you for a wedding. And I was like, wait, who are you? What is that? And I was like, oh, hey. So yeah, she has a wedding um, that's coming up next year, but she's like, she's like, I'm, I'm booking you now. I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll send you information about like the deposit and everything. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, so exciting. So 
I'm, I'm, I'm going to be a tarot reader at a wedding next November. Weddings are weird because I don't like to plan ahead. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to be doing then, but I'll, I'll, I'll make it work. <clears throat> Okay, so our first card out, this is what we're needing to know for the next week ahead with our manifestations. Contemplation time, perfect. Mercury has just gone retrograde. We're finishing out the year. We're in coasting mode. We don't want to like take on the world. We don't want to take the world by storm. I don't want to take the bull by the horns. I just want to sit here like this and contemplate with my parrot. <laughs> Chill. Like, hey, I'm having a nice sit down over here right? Don't forge ahead. Really strategize. Get your plans in order for the year. Get your vision um, crystallized for all the things you want to call in in the next 12 months. How do you want to grow? What kind of person do you want to start becoming? You know, this is the new start. This is our new cycle, right? This is it. And so it's like, this is now a time where we get to visualize, okay, what does this version of me look like in this life? What time do I get up in the morning? You know, what's my routine? What kinds of things do I do during the day? You know, what kinds of, of relationship dynamics am I having with my friends and my coworkers and my family? What ways am I looking to improve the way that I show up in those this year? You know, um, honoring everything that you've come through this past year thinking about ways that you've grown, right? Or deepened your relationship with yourself and with source and with life. You know, this is a good, a, just the perfect time of year to do that contemplative work. Spend time alone meditating upon what you truly desire. So yeah, perfect time of year to do that. It was also perfect because my my favorite day planner came in the mail today for next year. So I was like, oh, I'll have it in time. I'll just go home and mark my, my gig in my new planner. And so I like to use the magic of I. This is my one from this past year. So this has got a little bit of like, a little bit of smudges on it and stuff, but I just, I'm obsessed. And then each month was themed this past year with like, mushrooms and mushroom facts and there's places to journal and I don't know I love it I used to love Danielle Laporte's uh day planners but she stopped making them and that was devastating because they were the perfect combination of a day planner and a journal it was the best you had like a full page for each day I'm that nerd I want the full I want a journal I, I've got a lot going on that I'm like keeping notes about every day. So I don't want this little like section. I want like a whole page, but oh, Daniel Laporte, bring those back. Okay, what is our next card? What else do we need to know as we're sitting in contemplation, crystallizing our vision? And when you are thinking about the things that you desire, the most powerful aspect of your visualization is getting into the feeling state of being in that moment. So as you're visualizing yourself, feel the feeling of being that new self, taking exciting action steps towards your goals. See yourself being successful in them and feel the excitement and the gratitude and the, the calm, quiet, fulfillment and serenity that comes when you have that moment where you're like, oh, everything fell into place. It, it's all like it, it, it all worked out. I pulled it off, you know, and you're like, oh, man. And that's when like, you know, you have that celebratory drink, you know, with friends and you're out celebrating and you're just like, man, I can finally, like, I can relax. Like I, I got that thing done, you know, put yourself there in your mind and in your heart and just feel it. Oh my goodness, we've got a card that I have never pulled out of this deck. This is like a 44 card deck. I think we get the same 10 cards forever. This is new. Healing heart. You're a powerful you're a powerful healer. Keep up the great work. So again, like we've been talking about this for the past 2 weeks, pretty much ever since Hanukkah that you know this time of year not only is it it's like the year's end you know we're wrapping it up we're starting the new year soon and we're looking for things to improve upon to edit tweak and heal within our lives 
And so we've all been talking about the process itself the last couple of weeks and how we're starting to be able to stand outside of ourselves and observe the process at work. And we're beginning to witness, just like today, when you heal something inside of yourself, when you overcome um, a weakness, when you rise above the small self, when you can sacrifice your ego, right? Those, those unevolved parts of the soul and the personality for the sake of becoming more like the light, for the sake of sharing, for the sake of being a better person in the world to bring goodness to others, right? That unlocks the miracle juice. It puts you in the miracle zone and it opens up moments for manifestations to come through, like this opportunity today. It didn't just come because, you know, I, I laid down and I did the deep imagining. It came because not only did I, did I follow through and I took the action and did the work, but like I'm, I'm actively seeking out those parts of me that I want to heal and transform and change. You know how we've been doing our three questions workshop? Well, mine, you know, my three challenges that are blocking my manifestations, if you can narrow them down into like three words, um, I've been working on those. And I've been trying. And so it's like hostility, resentment, and envy, kind of jealousy in that realm. Um, and then it's so funny because, you know, it's not like the, we're like this all the time. But things trigger and provoke these, these qualities in us. And so, yeah, it's easy to not be that kind of person when no one's provoking you and no one's triggering you. But when you're under the heat and the pressure what part of your character comes forward. And so those are things that I've been witnessing and trying to work on. And, you know, it's, it's not like it's a one and done deal. It takes practice and it takes incremental change. And so the, the opponent is going to want to come in and trip you up and be like, oh, you know what? You can't like heal the whole thing overnight. You're going to get, you're going to lose your temper tomorrow. You're going to feel hostile. You're going to, you know, blow a fuse. It's not even worth trying, right? You're just a failure. It's not true little tiny efforts make a huge difference. If you think that I went in tonight and did not feel hostile one time, <laughs> that's not true. But I still did enough. It still was enough. I made enough effort. It was sincere, right? It wasn't just like, oh, I'll phone a little in and then get something out of it. It was like, I'm putting my whole heart into trying. And then as a result of taking action on those things, things are starting to happen, right? So healing, we are like embracing the process because not only, not only is it making us have a more fulfilling experience and less suffering, but we're also seeing that it's the change is starting to become evident in the outer world as well. And so this was a second, so the, the first set of questions for the workshop that we've all been doing. And I've been telling everybody to just go back and watch the other videos, but I'm just going to explain this to you real quick. If you want to do this, jump in on the bat, the bandwagon. If you split a piece of paper in half with a line down the middle, and you have to do this on a piece of paper, don't do it in your phone. On the left-hand column, write down three of the dreams that you would like to see come true that are really like you, you would realistically be like, you know, a, able to come true, like in a, like a, a short amount of time, something that is doable, right? Within six months or a year or something like that. Something you've been wanting to happen, something you've already, you know, been looking forward to or trying to make happen, right? These are like three of your cherished goals and dreams. Now, write those down just automatically, how, however, whatever order they first come to mind in. You can pause this video and do it because it's not going to take that long. Just three things that you know of. Don't go into like paragraphs. Just be like bullet points, right? 
Okay, now after you've done that, because you don't want to hear the next part, it kind of ruins it. So now write down <clears throat> three challenges about yourself that you're trying to overcome, like personality traits, not just like, oh, well, I have this issue with my shed right now. Like, that's not what we're talking about. Like, oh, I've been, I, I have a problem with my temper or I have resentment with my cousin because of this thing that happened like years ago, or I have um, jealousy issues with, you know, this or that, or people who can have children, you know, because I blah, blah, blah. That's not me, but like, I'm just using random examples that aren't just my examples. So if you are able to identify those, those issues that you are struggling with spiritually and compare them <clears throat> side by side, the number one slot is the thing, the, the challenge in the number one slot is the thing that's blocking your number one dream. The number two challenge is the thing that's blocking the number two dream. And they may not feel related, but somehow they are. <laughs> On, a, on an energetic, vibrational, emotional, spiritual level, they are, like, they are touching each other in some way and they are affecting because everything affects everything really. And when I laid, <laughs> laid mine out in order, it made sense. I could see why and, and where the connections were. So even just looking at those things laid out, it gives you clarity and motivation. Because you're like, do I really want to hold on to my resentment over this thing or this condition of this thing when I, when it's blocking this dream? Like, is this resentment more precious to me than the, res than the dream? Is my wanting to be right and justified more satisfying than having the fulfillment of this like life purpose play out? Like, no, right? So it helps you really stick with it and embrace the process, which is amazing. Another one of the lessons that is coming through right now is that why are we participating in the process in the first place? Are we wanting to be more spiritual and build affinity with the light simply because we want to finally get out of our own suffering like oh I just want all this madness and chaos to be over with and I just want to be living in a state of peace and fulfillment and in heaven are we wanting to like bypass our own suffering or are we wanting to be more like the light because we genuinely admire the light and we want to be a better ambassador for the light and we want to be a better channel for the light in the world and we want to be a better person to others and also make the world a better place. So that is the difference between being a vessel for or receiving for the sake of sharing versus receiving for the self alone. And so we're trying to become a better vessel for channeling the light. And in order to do that, we have to become more like the light because if you think about the law of attraction or the law of affinity, like attracts like. Like resonates, D unlike is dissonant, right? So you're a powerful healer, keep up the great work. So keep up the healing work because it's opening up miracles and channels for miracles to come through. All right, and so far I've noticed our borders right now around the cards are green, which green, I've been noticing green today. Um, it's uh, connected to the heart chakra, it's connected to healing. It's connected to love, abundance, fertility, creativity. This green's a very powerful color. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Dougal Fraser's book, Your Life in Color, but he has an amazing, it's one of the easiest like spirituality books I've ever read and the like easiest to apply and to execute the, the, the methods. But basically he like just has this psychic intuition about the frequency of colors and what they can do for you if you surround yourself with them in your environment or if you like wear that color or you can incorporate more of that color in or use it in your meditation. Each color does different things for you. 
So if you are in a time of heart healing, or if you are about to sit down and write or do something creative, you can surround yourself with some green items and that will enhance that energy. And I can't tell you how crazy effective it is. It's so weird. But yeah, like you can put like a like a green stone or something next to you um, and, it, and it will really help. Uh, divine magic. Extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now. Expect miracles. Okay, so visualize. Get crystal clear on your vision and get into the feeling state as you visualize and get into an excited, joyful state of gratitude, calling it in. Healing. Healing is what's bringing the magic sauce, right? So every time we crack through our shells of negativity and break our ego and die to another aspect of that lower pewee nini self, we open up divine magic that will be channeled into blessings that will come our way. Extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now. Expect miracles. I've been talking about this nonstop. It's like we're in miracle season. It's it's Christmas. It's solstice. It's Hanukkah. Like we've just passed Hanukkah. That was like the gateway of the miracles to flow through. Same for like, this is why they all kind of like always coincide all at the same time. Like all these religions have the, these holidays right now. It's this time of year. It's, it's open. It's very, the veil is thin. The, the light is coming through. We're in the darkest time of the year. So it's, it's a time where if we can find hope and unity and sharing and create love during this time of darkness, then that creates miracles, right? And so miracles are just bouncing off of everything right now. So yeah, extra cool, extra cool, extra magical energies in the air. And it's coming from, you know, your, your willingness to create that relationship with source, with God, and also to put yourself on the chopping block, right? I can't remember what the Hebrew term is called. Mezerut nefesh, maybe? It's like the, the self-sacrifice, making the sacrifice of the self um, that, uh, that reveals more of the light of the creator from within you and increases your magnetism. Okay, and then let's get one last card. Make a wish. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, think about what you want. Um, do some healing work. Make some changes in yourself. Try to get over your temper. Try to get over your fears. Try to get over the, the sadness, the grudges, you know, the insecurities. Getting over all of that is surrounding you with magic, right? It's gathering up over us like little pools of light and sparks that are just waiting to come in and be channeled through. So as that's gathering voice, I think I even said like name it and claim it, but like state this out loud, name, claim what you're calling in, talk about it, pray out loud to the creator. You know, the thing that makes us, gives us some of the most affinity with the light that separates us from the other living kingdoms is our ability to take our thoughts and put them into words. To, to make speech is to take nothing, like to bring something from nothing. When you take an idea and you're able to verbalize that, you are taking something that came from the void that <laughs> suddenly became a, uh, an apparition and then became physicalized in this world. You brought that through from somewhere, right? So our, our speech is very powerful. We have the power of life and death in our tongue. Um, same, you know, this is, this is the, the way that we mirror the creator in that way. It was, think about it, let there be light, right? That was the statement that started this physical manifestation. The, the scientific, what that looked like, at least for this realm, was the Big Bang. That singularity and then a cataclysmic explosion and of light, right? And fire. Amazing. So make a wish. This is a magical moment. Make a wish and enjoy its manifestation. And I mean, these, these cards are also like, I'm just going to pick one from the middle of the deck, just out of curiosity to see what it is. Playtime, have fun. It's like, 
The dolphins know the importance of playing as joy creates miracles and manifestations. So have a good time. Get into the Christmas spirit. This is Christmas week, so you might have a lot of traveling to do. Uh, I know that I have lots of family events all week. It's going to be really fun. So get your rest. Give yourself time to have little moments of isolation to recharge so you can keep having fun and be, you know, life of the party and not get grumpy. If you're an introvert or an empath, it might be difficult to be spending a lot of time out with people. Um, it can get draining and then you, you don't get to enjoy it as much either. And no one enjoys you because you're a sourpuss. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, get your rest, um, take time to like go to the bathroom and just take a minute to like be alone. But yeah, have a good time. Um, careful with all of your travels. It's mercury retrograde. So check your tires. When the, the temperature drops, they can lose pressure. So check all your tires and everything for you on the road. Make sure you're all safe to drive through inclement weather and y'all be good. And I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Ciao.